What is up guys, Rick Crocus here. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for stopping by. And today, we have the complete guide for how to get the brand new Hawkmoon exotic hand cannon returning infamously from Destiny 1. And so, let's get started. Now, first things first, let's take a look at this weapon so you know if you want to go for it. Intrinsically, it has paracausal shot. Final blows and precision hits with Hawkmoon Grant stacks of paracausal charge. The final round of the magazine deals bonus damage based on the number of stacks. Stowing Hawkmoon on the final round removes this bonus. But interestingly, it has a unique perk called Transformative. Future drops of this weapon will have random rolls. So you can actually get this after you've gotten it the first time with stuff like Killing Wind, Rangefinder, and more. This is gonna be an insanely good weapon. Okay, so how do you get it? Well, first things first, you're going to have to go and talk to Spider in the Tangled Shore. He's gonna offer you this exotic quest and it prompts you to search outside the spider's lair and find the first of quite a few different feathers. So if you just head back to the opening kind of as soon as you go into the load zone, as you can see, there is a glowing feather right here. And this glowing feather, it's gonna look the same no matter where you go to get it. Now, once you pick it up, the quest step is going to update and then you have to find another one of these same looking glowing feathers and it gives you a convoluted hint to try to figure out where to go in all of the areas of Destiny 2 to find the next feather. But I've already done all that, so where you need to go is the sludge in the EDZ, specifically head towards the Hallowed Grove Lost Sector. Once you get to this big rock, turn and jump the opposite way. And as you can see, it's on this bit of kind of broken down building scaffolding right here. Moving on from there, the next feather is going to be in the Cosmodrome, specifically in that steps loading area. As soon as you spawn in, simply look upwards and jump up to this broken structure and you'll find it pretty quickly. Then the next feather is on the Dreaming City. Once you load in, head towards the giant gate opening as if you were going towards the Blind Well or the very beginning entrance of the Last Wish Raid and you'll see it sitting there on the left side. Then we have the final feather. To get this one, head to the moon and go to the Temple of Crota. To get there, remember it's right off of Archer's line as you can see. So head in this hive structure and continue forward kind of just past the area that you met the crow, so to speak, in the opening cinematic of this season. Head to the very final boss room where the fanatic nightmare hunt takes place and it's located on the ground as you can see right here. Then your quest step is going to update. You're gonna head back to the Tangled Shore and talk to Crow. He's going to update your quest step again and now you're going to have to complete the Cry From Beyond mission. This is located on the EDZ in the Sludge, you're going to go through the Lost Sector kind of as you normally would. In fact, you can even skip ads here and then just kill the boss. But after you do so, you're going to see a glowing crow and head down this kind of new crawl space area. Then there's a bit of a jumping puzzle you need to traverse your way through. Once you get to the very end, there's going to be an area where a bunch of Taken are gonna spawn, but as soon as you kill the boss, then the quest step is going to update. You're actually gonna see the broken Hawkmoon sitting here on the ground. Then you're gonna have to go back to Crow and after talking to him, the quest step is going to update and now you have to collect or generate 50 orbs of power. So the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is head to the Dreaming City and go into the Blind Well. As soon as you kill one of the Anthems, they drop the Harmony buff, which almost instantly refills your super. Like you're gonna get so many supers so quickly, so you can just cast and cast and cast and use them to take out uh, the lots of ads in that area to generate a ton of orbs. But remember, Masterwork weapon orbs count as well. Make sure you are using a Masterwork weapon as well because you can't pick up your own orbs generated from supers but you can from the orbs generated from masterwork weapons so it'll count essentially as two in terms of progress if you produce one and then pick it up now once you've completed this you get your quest step updated by crow again and now you're going to have to go to the edz and investigate the coordinates 
Specifically, there is a quest that has appeared in the Trossland. So once you activate it, you're actually going to go kind of into the dam that's present within the Lake of Shadows Strike. And as you're making your way through this new area, you're going to see feathers spawn. Now they will be marked on your screen kind of well before you get to them. So it gives you an indication of the direction you have to head in. However, after picking feathers up, you're going to notice that you only get to four out of five. Don't waste time looking for the last feather because it's in fact involved with this boss fight as you can see. There's a bunch of light imbued taken that drop orbs. You right click in my case on PC to throw those orbs at the boss and once you damage this boss enough, he's going to escape and drop the final feather for you to pick up. After that, the crow is gonna update your quest step yet again, and now you have to get either champion or guardian kills. So you can go into the crucible, and there it was said that it was about 0.5% progress for one guardian kill. So about 200 guardian kills in total. Now mayhem is currently a featured mode, so that might not be as bad as some people think. However, as for champions, it's about 3% per champion. That is still gonna be a decent amount of grind, but if you farm it correctly, this can go by extremely fast. So how to complete this quest step as quickly as possible is to go into the 1250 Lost Sector. Right now it's Concealed Void, it will change as time goes on, but there's going to be quite a few champions available here and you're probably going to be of light pretty quickly. Now, if you can get one or two people in your fire team, it makes things go by so much faster because you can use stuff like the Xenophage exotic machine gun to just blast down champions as you're seeing and run through these lost sectors extremely fast. We were killing all four champions within the concealed void lost sector and restarting just before the boss fight in less than a minute. So going through killing those four champions as quickly as possible just by team shotting them with Xenophage and then abandoning the activity, restarting that lost sector, and just doing that again and again and again. Just make sure to put on like the Aquilos SMG with anti-barrier SMG rounds and then the wombo combo for your grenades that lets you stun overload champions and then get your grenade back instantly for stunning them and you should have no problem. All right, so once you get this quest step done, it's going to update automatically and now you have a new mission within the sludge on the EDZ. This is going to begin exactly like the last one. Run through the lost sector, kill the boss super quickly, head into the new area. However, there's a different route to take. You're gonna have to scramble your way up this cliffside and then you have a myriad of new ways to go, new things to jump on. It's kind of another jumping puzzle area, but you are going to use this alternative pathway to make your way to that same kind of boss fight area you were before. Once you're in here, you're gonna start the encounter by doing the same thing you did in that previous mission where you kill the light immune taken, grab the orbs and use them to take down the shields of the immune guys. But after not too long, you're going to straight up get the Hawk Moon. Now the mission isn't done, you have the weapon and you can put it on and try it out to complete the last part of this mission, which is simply instead of fighting all the littler guys with the immune shields, you fight one big boss and you're gonna have to take a shield down, damage him to a third, then the shield's gonna go back up, do the same thing. Eventually, once you kill this boss, the mission will end, triumphs will be awarded, you are officially done and now have the Hawkmoon, or at least the first of many Hawkmoons. Guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed, found this informative, and if you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.